So here's a video illustrating some of the research I've been doing on attack angle and how shallow it should be as the wedges come into the golf ball. Something very interesting, we broke out a lie board as you can tell. We're hitting some shots and certainly the lie board is higher than the turf which is going to elevate the golf ball and thus increase the propensity for the bounce or the sole of the club to contact the ground prior to the ball. But you see the yellow mark on the lie board there. I've, what I've done, you can actually see just on the sole of the club there, I've placed some yellow electrical tape uh, to hit some shots. This is me hitting a few shots. Um, my first shot, as you can tell, was a little heavy. But watch the difference here. This is thin. This is a thin shot. This is taped at 300 frames per second as the club's coming through the hit. This is a thin strike. And notice the mark, okay, there, and, and this is the second shot hit off of this lie board. Um, you can tell that the mark located right here is the mark left by the yellow tape. It was a thin shot. And interestingly enough, in this situation, the sole of the club actually contacts the ground after striking the golf ball which is what we all like to think of it as as ball first ground second and I'm not suggesting that we change that I just found it was very interesting uh, to, to note how the sole of the club interacted with the ground when we had the appropriate attack angle a fairly shallow attack angle somewhere between two to five degrees down still down but shallow not steep at all this was the first shot hit off the lie board showing you a little heavy and you can see how the club bottoms out well before the golf ball but the most interesting of all was this was a perfect correct hit this felt great to me and notice where the sole of the club contacts the ground um, I then ramped up the uh, per second this is a club contacting the ball on a perfectly struck pitch shot fellow golf professional here comes the club 1200 frames per second the orange line obviously indicates the back of the ball um, the blue line the center of the golf ball the turf is not nearly as long as it may look uh, look at the shape of the golf ball and the camera has accentuated um, that vertical element to the picture but notice here how the club on a perfectly struck ball clearly contacts the grass or at least the tops of the grass prior to impacting the golf ball and you can see back in in front of the golf ball how the club is brushing or certainly contacting the turf there very interesting so I took it to uh, and as a reference here's a here's a full version of my pitch shot here hitting off the board you can tell I'm not I'm by no means a scooper I get my hands in front I have really worked to shallow out my attack angle so I'm not throwing this club or losing the angle by any means there I pitch the ball low I tend to not spin it quite enough um, but that's just indicative of looking at this shot here this has got red tape on the sole of the club uh, this is a full swing, perfectly struck 7-iron by a player who has played in uh, almost a dozen major championships. This guy can play, 7-iron. Watch this, beautifully hit. Look at the red line. Very interesting, I thought. Just talking a little bit about attack angle and how that needs to be shallow coming into the golf ball okay I don't want anyone to think I've got to hit the ground before I hit the ball but I think if you think of it in a macro perspective uh, the sole of the club the bounce of the club has got to make contact with the ball prior excuse me contact with the tops of the grass and really the grass prior to contacting the ball thanks for watching